James Kemp and Lieutenant, U.S. Navy. I grew up in New Jersey, um, most of it in a town called Rockaway in Morris County. Um, I'd had a, a knack for music and science. Um, went to, oh, and I should say my, my father was in the service, uh, I think, after Korea. He'd gotten a different, he was, he was a, going to school to be a music teacher as well. Um, he, he got a deferment from the draft to finish his degree and then went to Japan and I think Korea, but it was after the war. He was in the chaplain's corps because he could sing. So he was the chaplain's corps, snatched him right up and he'd, he'd, participate, he'd help him with the services. Um, but one of the interesting things, the story that he told me there was that um, the, best, the very best shots in the, in the unit were in the chaplain's corps. And so he, had, he was an expert in this and marksman and that and whatever, and they all were, um, just because I guess they had more time to practice or something, but th that was, that was kind of cute. Um, and I found out later I had an uncle who was in the Navy. He'd been on carriers uh, at the very tail end of World War II. Um, anyway, so I had kind of had, I was familiar with the, the idea of, of military service. Um, so I come out of high school and I go to go to, uh, I'm going to Rutgers University, and I major in physics. Um, come out of Rutgers, and I'm, I'm like interested. I want, I, want to, I want to do the Navy thing. And I take the tests. I go, there was a, did really well on the vocational aptitude battery. Like everybody's thrilled. Okay, let's, let's get the guy in. And I'm thinking, they're thinking, you know, maybe new power, degree in physics, why not? Um, and then a buddy of mine that I'd done some work with in an analytical lab um, is going to start up a lab in New York State and ask me, hey, could you, could, you, uh, could you put it off a year to help me start this up? I go, yeah, why not? Okay. I must have misunderstood something or somebody misunderstood me. What I thought I understood was, oh, yeah, that's no problem. You can still do the new power thing. Put on. No, you can't. Fred out of college or not at all. And... Uh, so new power was out. Um, I went out and done some, did uh, some work in industry. I was a um, sales and technical service for electroplating supply house for a few years. And then, hey, coming up on 28 years old, if I'm going to do this, I have to do it. So I did it. I entered the service about five years after college, just before my 28th birthday, because they won't take you after that. Um, why? Just I'd always felt that... It, Everybody should have some military time, and it was like, all right, it was, if not me, who, if not now, when. Um, went to OCS, Office of Candidate School in Newport, Rhode Island. Um, that, was, I mean, that was very interesting, in that uh, I was older by four or five years than most of the other guys, and, and like, a lot of it's physical training, and that was, that was fun to try to keep up with them. 